What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I am bringing you the next cleanup video episode. Uh, this one, uh, actually, is kind of the opposite. I gotta show my fail last time and someone cleaning it up. I'm gonna show myself uh, readjusting a plan uh, in a fail, uh, from a failed attack and doing the cleanup and really how I'm gonna explain what I was thinking when I was looking at the base, uh, some ideas I had that are thrown around and then what I ended up going with uh, and why. So uh, <laughs> let's flip on over to our poor unfortunate soul Peter here. I uh, had a generally a pretty good idea. Um, just a, a couple things fell short, a couple things went wrong and did not come away with the three star unfortunately. Um, so let's look at Peter's comp here and what his plan was. He's got these eight Valks. He's only bringing one Golem, which I think was also part of it, uh, the issue. Um, and then he's going to come in from this 12 o'clock spot. And I thought about this exact same entry. Um, but what Peter's going to do is create his funnel, open things up, because this is a nice little path to come down on this air defense. And he drops a jump over this air defense. And he's got a second jump, which goes down, ends up going down over here. Now, the, there's a couple problems with this. Um, so he, his goal is to get his Valks down into this chamber, and I think he's trying to get this queen from it. Now, not only is it not probably going to happen because he's only bringing one golem, so uh, between the king and one golem and those eight Valks, it does seem like a lot of tanking, but that is a, you're going from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. That is an extremely long distance for those Valks to travel um, if you actually want this defensive to queen to go down. And my second point would be, even if everything funneled down here exactly how you wanted it, the Golem out in front, the Valks get in here, you drop this jump down here. If you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces from this compartment to this compartment, which is too much for even an earthquake, never mind a jump spell. So this queen is placed properly away from this wall. She should not jump this wall. So even if you got everything jumped into this compartment, I still don't think you were going to get the queen. Um, I obviously didn't have eyes on this plan, Peter. I know it was a first hit. So obviously that's a, that's a, lot, um, <laughs> a lot different than a cleanup attack. However, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think even if everything went to plan, um, you would have got that queen. But let's just check out what actually happened. So everything kind of looks good at first, exactly how you want it. Um, times to this just to get this going. Um, so drops the golem, uh, creates the easy funnel. Now it's nice, nice with that cold blooded. He gets tanking from all that, so you can create the funnel still. So I kind of understand the reasoning of why you didn't need the second golem necessarily. I just think that, like I said, that travel distance is insane. So everything's going in. Valks are going in. Boom! Here goes the jump. Now watch this. This is the moment where the raid goes wrong. Every single Valk hopped into this compartment. His golem and king hopped into this compartment. Now, the queen gets stalled up on this lava hound for a substantial amount of time. So she's not helping either side push through, um, which is a part of the problem. But his Valks now are all in here. There's a The heal placement is off. He should have healed more deeper into this chamber because these Valks are already outside of the heal. These ones are going to rip down this wizard tower in like a second and then also be outside of the heel. So the heel was a little deeper, that might have helped, but I still, like I said, even with that heel on par, you're gonna see what happens to the Valks here in a moment. Everything goes in, he does get that double giant bomb and at least uncovers it, so it was a really good scout. But if you check right here, these Valks now go over to these buildings, they're juicy on the outside of the wall, that jump spell is not down. So the Valks get stuck up on this wall, tries to help it out with some hogs and push everything through, but see this jump? It does not make that queen. And then those Teslas just kind of rip everything up. The queen is still alive. He's got to get through this. He doesn't have enough spells because he brought that extra jump, which didn't get him anything. And then it's just GG from here. So we're going to hop on out uh, and check this out. So I had initially a different plan than this. Um, I just end up with a shattered go up. <clears throat> now, Initially, I before I was looking at this base before Peter even claimed it about maybe doing a hit on it. And my initial plan was to do the exact same entry as Peter did, but with two golems and no Valks, just my king and queen, get everything in here under a raid spell, get both of those air defense and the CC troops taken care of. Then down here, I was going to drop two dragons and some funneling troops 
because if the uh, you click on the arch green pad, or we'd have to go to the scout, but if you click on the arch green pad, uh, as long as this gold storage goes down first, they would go to this this guy here. I'd have funneling minions already on this to have have the health down. I pretty as soon as they went across from this uh, collector to the storage, the queen would have locked on and would have drew them in. So the drag swap probably would have been pretty clean, um, and then. I would have zap quaked this three o'clock air defense. So now I've got two air defense, the queen and that, and I was gonna bring two lava hounds for this air defense here because it's very easy pathing to it. So I could drop lava hound, lava hound, and just balloons all around with a hay spell. And that would be dead instantly. Then I could just rage over top the Tesla farm, which I didn't know was there when I was planning, but it, I think that plan might've worked. However, as I was watching some of these attacks, Crystal Warrior, pretty much, I, I don't think they brought, I saw one Pentalalo. I'm pretty sure every other attack I've watched from Crystal Warrior is a Queen Charge. Um, some fail, some are good. You know, they're, they're great attackers, taking nothing away. But I'm really starting to look at some of these anti-three stars that are getting just out of control. And something Katic and I have talked about throughout our base building series is don't forget the basics, right? There's a lot of basic principles um, that this base follows very well. However, one thing I immediately noticed is, first of all, bomb placements, okay? There's two single bombs, one by this arch tower, one by this expo, and then a double on either side, like in the diagonal here where the air defense and sweeper are. Now, to me, that's only two defenses, five hogs or four hogs would need to get through to trigger that double giant bomb. I can also quite easily get the CC troops, the defensive queen, and a fairly large section of this base. Now I knew the Teslas were there, so that was another juicy part because one jump back here with my shattered entry is gonna get me this Tesla farm and this expo, right? So I'm gonna get pretty big value with just a straight up shattered entry, and I'm gonna easily be able to defuse the double giant bomb. Well, why am I driving? Why why would I be bringing dragons and doing this two pronged attack? And hopefully, you know, there's not a lot of bombs here to take. Like, there's just too many variables when you take it out when you know you can easily defuse the double giant bomb. So I bring two giants. We're gonna watch exactly how this plays out. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So nice and easy funnel on the bottom. He does do a good job of stacking up these high high hit point buildings here, which delays things. But that's why I brought extra wizards. You see that I brought eight wizards. Usually I'll bring only six or so. You know, nice easy wall break. Uh, that The golem does get stalled out on this mortar for a bit because of the high hit point stuff, but it doesn't matter, right? I delay it as much as I possibly can. I just did not want the queen to lock on the queen, so I dropped that king just in case. But the queen goes down like instantly. This golem's gonna start routing in. Boom, jump's gonna go down, let everything into the expo and the Tesla farm. Queen's going to stand in there doing work. I really wish I had a rage for my queen at this point, but I think bringing three heals was the smart move to do. So King's going to work on this stuff for a little bit, but you're going to see this in a minute. I drop an extra wizard to help with this high hit point crap over here because I know I'm about to get that expo locked on to things. And see what I do? Giant and giant up top to do the tanking. I drop a few hogs there, a few hogs here. Even I figured I'd bring a haste because I knew there was a lava hound. Just fly these hogs in onto that... Uh, Air sweeper and see you later, double giant bomb. And a handful of defenses up here at the same time. So heal goes down over the rest of these hogs. I send in basically, I didn't mean, I meant to send in, uh, say four or five, not just two. So I was a little trigger happy uh, there. But you can see that they're really looking really good through this first heal. Almost every Tesla gets taken down. That queen's still in there doing work. So the hogs in there, boom, delay that heal. I have the second heal. I can basically just overlap it to keep those two hogs working on that archer tower under no duress. See all these hogs moving in. Boom, there goes that last bomb, standing in the heel, no big deal. Down go the last few defenses. Standard, shattered, go ho. Figure out how to defuse the double giant bomb, bring the heels, play smart. I don't know guys, back to the basics. That was kind of the theme of this one. Um, don't overthink the bases. Yeah, sometimes there's juicy aspects to a base. You want to charge it, you want to walk it, you want to bring, you know, some dragon attack, which is awesome, but when, when the basic principles are being flawed, you need to take advantage of them and just do it, right? Just shatter Goho, shatter Lalo, get back to those basics, um, 
and uh, you will have some success. So as you can see, four hours, 50 minutes, seven minutes to go. We got one hive 2.0 in the lead, 85 to 84, with 56 attacks used for one hive and 59 attacks for Crystal Warrior. Uh, so things are looking pretty tense going into the final moments of this war. Look forward to bringing this recap. Uh, I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot. I just I got a lot going on. I got a job I'm working at now that's taking a lot more of my time. And uh, I was going to do the Genesis recap this morning. However, the update came and I knew it was coming. I just I wasn't able to do it last night. Uh, we had this war going on. We were streaming a bit. Um, and yeah, so unfortunately, I lost the Genesis versus Invicta uh, recap footage. But I'm sure Cheatham or someone on the other side did some. So if you want to get some of that content, go check that out. Anyhow, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this cleanup video number two. Uh, back to the basics. I like it. Uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help beg that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.